Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I actually have a new guest joining me on a on a reading today. Uh, we're friends of one of our Discord servers, just helping each other out as a creators, and I had them on today. So, uh, this is Sparky. <laughs> Hello. Very nice to have you on on the uh, the shitty show that I have. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yep, so today, since you are a new guest, I let you pick any of the books in the library for us to read. And you have chosen a One Piece book for us to read. Can't go wrong. Yeah. I mean, One Piece like, is, is good. Is there any other choice? Yeah. One Piece is good. You, you can't go wrong with One Piece. Especially because the fan base is so large that you know that only professionals are going to be writing these. Yeah. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> I've read some shit in my day. <laughs> Alright, this this one is called You Done Rizzed Up Nami, a Nami X Reader, which I am assuming it's a male. I don't know. It, it seems to be. Yeah. But uh Yeah, this... cologne on the suit and stuff, it's like yeah. Yeah. But the the description does read The Straw Hats have gone has gotten lost between worlds because of Zoro. You see a beautiful lady with orange hair. There's some competition. Will you beat that? A more romantic focus story, including Nami, is in the works. Okay. I'm guessing they have <laughs> multiple books of Nami, but uh, I don't know where this book is gonna go. <laughs> I, do, I do like yeah, how they looking... they like say "rizzed up." I don't think anyone uses yeah. the word with "riz" now. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've heard the phrase, for sure. Really? I mean, maybe I've heard it before, but I don't know. There's so many different slang words these days. Are just like... Yeah, I guess you're right about that. But, uh, alright, let's fucking start. All it right. really caught my attention, though. Alrighty. Is there... It's kind of hard to see on here. Alright, I think we have... I think it's YN, so what shitty OC name should we give our character for this reading? Hmm. I mean, some of the classics are just a silly jumble of words, or like a pause before saying you. So it's like, so what are you doing? You? Or something like that, you know? Yeah. It's uh, like, it's... hey, you? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, just like never actually managed to trade names or anything. It's just like hmm. uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a boy. I will just do gender neutral, but uh, <laughs> I feel like it'd be funny because uh, I like looked at the first word that was on my desk and it was OBS. So I can <laughs> make this person's name OBS. Obs. Hey there, Obs. Yeah. Alrighty, let me see if I have a coin to flip to see who goes first. Alright, let's see. Alright, do you want to be... Alright, okay, heads, I'll read first. Uh, tails, you'll read first. If that's fair. Works for me. Alrighty. Alright, I read first. Yeah. Alright, okay, definitely cat feelings. Alright, I'm gonna sing this is a fucking love at first sight with... <laughs> With fucking OBS and uh, Nami. <laughs> it was the start of a, possibly one of the greatest days of your life. You have been invited to help a mo help a model with a fashion show that has been located at the beach, quite far away from the city. You hopped off the bed with excitement and got ready. Is this like a fucking uh, like modern AU or something? Because I don't think there's any big cities in One Piece, is there? I mean. Considering the description, I think it's they literally got lost between worlds and found their way here. Yeah, I guess this is like they escaped the fucking anime and went to the real world. Oh dear God! Yeah, we're gonna open it's up. Spreading. Our, we're gonna open up our front door and the fucking Sunny's gonna be there. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> you begin brushing your teeth and then oh. flossing. You apply. Uh, cologne on the suit that you had just bought and got ready. 
You had passed the TV alerting of a ship sighting, but were too focused on getting ready, so you continued to run around. You have no time to make your own breakfast, as you had to attend the assembly before the trip begins. You lock the house with everything switched off, and then you zoom! A puddle was hiding under the car you parked. A Fiat Multipa, if you must know. You had entered the key in the door, and struggled a bit to open it. A lady with blonde hair had lifted... Oh, a lady with blonde hair had herself lifting bags from getting groceries. You had struggled till the puddle had almost made you slip. You remain in quiet shock as the lady just stares at you. You look at her. You finish opening the door. <laughs> Fucking random. Uh, K? Yep, that just happened. Lady with... Okay. The car was gonna get replaced by a friend that owes you for that special time. What? What special time? <laughs> what? Uh. Alright, I, yeah, I guess know, it's just... going this way. Alright. <laughs> Oh, your friend a favor, and so you replace their car. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You've been borrowing your bo the boss's car for the past month. You had closed the door shut and had left for the dealership. You arrived to a shining Mer Mercedes Maybach S Class that was indeed yours to keep. You leave the dealership with so much confidence. You take a left turn out of the dealership and go to the assembly. So you take your boss's car to get another car, this and then is just weird. <laughs> this person just leave their boss's car at the dealership. I guess so. They'll pick it up. <laughs> oh. it work out. You arrived, and they had planned out that everyone should be leaving at 10 a.m. sharp. The show is running early evening, so we are all pretty relaxed. Finding out it was pretty cloudy. You all left for the show in a straight line. There were three buses carrying those who did not have their own transport, which was you up until a few moments ago. Yeah. <laughs> you turned off. You turned on the screen of the radio, and had some good lo-fi playing. I looked at the clouds emulating the bright sun at the top of their already shaded bottom part. Oh, of the clouds, right? The mountains began to emerge as you continued. The sound of lo-fi had your head bopping to every kick and snare. The road trip continued for hours with a few stops and then and there. You personally quiet person, so you went through the phone when people were talking at the stops. The trip progressed until the sun had began to lose its shine, and you had arrived. Getting out of the car, you then hit with a breeze of cold air to the face. You had your mind still on the lo-fi beats you were listening to. You had the, this compelling urge to pee. <laughs> you had a person guy who had said that there was no toilets at all and there was only ones for the models. Why? We were here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, models gotta go, but you have to go in the forest. Yeah. Peasant. Shoo. Your face didn't, didn't finish dropping since you were so distracted. You went to the little area with a bit of vegetation, unzipping your pants, and then, yeah, I guess we didn't go pee in the woods. <laughs> what you did not see, though, was a pit bull just staring at you. Oh my god, we're gonna get our shit fucking wrecked by a fucking pit bull. <laughs> no. You had an unbearable inside shock, but proceeded to pee. It growled. Oh, OBS wasn't shit. <laughs> but you couldn't move. So you continue peeing. Continued. Then continued until the bladder was empty. I'm glad we went through the entire process of peeing instead of just being like, oh, yeah. we went to the bathroom you and know, came it's back. Just like, yeah, we have to go through every single drop. It's like, yeah. alright, so there's one ounce, and then you go two ounces. And get this. Three ounces. Oh my god. <laughs> the yeah. awkwardness was like a... For sure. Yeah. The awkwardness was like a build-up to the next uh, climax. You zipped your pants and started running. <laughs> you then looked forward to a lady with literal orange hair in the distance, admiring the nice clothes the models were wearing. Wait, where is this? That there's no bathrooms in your 
being in a forest, but there's just a random person walking by. You begin I... to question if there are secondary footsteps. <laughs> they weren't. You look behind and the dog had just minded his own business back at that area. Going back to their owner. Okay. You then walk slowly to the booth. To help your model. Wait, so there's a booth, but no... This <laughs> shit makes no sense already. <laughs> the, the, the mental picture this is painting is quite wild. I'm loving it. <laughs> you then walk slowly to the booth to help your model with organizing their clothes and getting their food. You then see the Vaseline reflecting off one of the model's faces. Which is a normal thing to notice, I guess. The show came to its final hour and you had finished your job. You take your Red Bull and head on outside. The early night has you in a state of an empty mind, just allowing you to absorb its beautiful view. You hear faint footsteps. You look to your right to see the lady with similar orange hair. You look drenched in water. You slowly approach her, and she does as well. You're shivering vigorously, and she leans... I'll, I'll get- I get very forward of you, fucking Nami, alright. She shivers vigorously. Just right in there. <laughs> yeah. And leans into your chest, forfeiting her body on yours for warmth. You see a blue tattoo As on one her does. shoulder. Yeah, this is a fucking stranger. Why the fuck is she doing it? Dude's like a- Forfeit her body. Yeah, shaped like an orange. I don't remember her having a fucking orange. I, I thought think it was it's a pinwheel. supposed to be the berry symbol? Or, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a pinwheel. Like a... Orange. It is, yeah. She's asking for a towel. I like how towel. she asked for a towel. Yeah. I like how that's in quotes. It's like, she asked for a towel. Yeah. <laughs> what? You responded. You were just too captivated by... <laughs> I just seemingly made her hair a lot darker and shinier. You feel your heart beat through the physical contact with this lady. It flustered you more. Ma'am? What's your name, if I may ask? My name? Nami. I just got lost and ended up at this beach. Damn, isn't this more like a Zoro thing to get lost? <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna mention, I just saw in the comments, Nami? Lost? <laughs> I, mean, I think you've been hanging around Zora too much. I mean, she did teleport to another world, so I guess she would not know I mean, where the hell. Yeah, is. I guess that that would make even the best navigators at least a little bit lost for yeah. sure. <laughs> Alrighty, all all you on this one. But what? <laughs> My brain is still trying to paint a mental picture between a booth at a fashion fair and. Him having to go into the woods, where there's just a random pit bull, whose mm. owner is nearby. Dude, it's it's Wattpad. Nothing that was a makes wild sense ride. here. <laughs> that that was a wild ride. I am so glad that I signed up for this. Yeah. This is. If you ever want to go on a trip without doing drugs, go on Wattpad. Yeah. <laughs> Or not read Wattpad while on drugs. It probably make the experience oh better. <laughs> it might actually start to make sense. Yeah. Which would probably break the universe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll you on the next chapter. So we continue. Are we really doing this now? Okay then. That's a very strong chapter name. Yep. The night darkens. It looks close to 18.30 p.m. because we speak in European or military time. The shore is behind you as the beach lights begin to light up. You open your mouth with disbelief in the tone of your voice. Nami? 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 Nami is busy drying herself with her hair still noticeably wet from the water, not paying atten any attention to your struggle speech. You would grabbed the Red Bull and gulped it to at least fog the mind a bit from what you had just heard from her. You scrunch the can as she recovers from her previous position, whilst she looks at you in confusion. I, guess, I don't know who the fuck's talking right here. 
I guess that's us going like, ah. <laughs> she noticeably waits for your speech. You recover your voice and speak again. Your composure builds up. Nami, I... I am very confused at how you got lost here, OBS says. She sorts... Yep, she sorts out her body posture in standing position with her arm on her one hip. She smirks. It may sound a little bit weird to you, but I've gotten lost with my crew. Nami says, You have a crew? Yes, but a pirate crew. Oh my god, we... You be selling movies and shit? <laughs> oh my god, they're thinking of that fucking- I guess pirates don't exist in the modern world. <laughs> uh, apparently not. Yeah. Wait, Nami, there's- Actually, this movie yeah, I want- that... I want you to download for me. You, you know that famous show, Pirates of the Caribbean, about those people who download Nintendo 64 game emulators and sell them illegally online. Yeah, that's crazy. Who would download an emulator to play the games that they want? That's crazy. I would never. <laughs> no, I'm part of an actual pirate crew, you idiot. Laughs again. Nami. OPS just sits there and stares. I'm a navigator of a ship. I direct my captain to wherever he needs the crew to go. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. A beautiful lady like you alongside me would be all I need. Uh, okay. But that's just me low-key. Not very low-key if you just announce it. Yeah. You know? I know I'm beautiful. Nothing. What are you saying? I mean, that's just something you think you don't say out loud. <laughs> yeah. Just like, man, I just need you, a beautiful lady, alongside me, low key. Yeah, high key, low key. <laughs> uh, where the fuck was it? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, where I know. Yeah, I know I'm beautiful. Nami dusts off. Yeah, dusts off in a cool, happy manner. So, oh, where's the rest of your crew? Well, Zoro. Zoro, Zoro, yeah. Nami's face drops. Huh? What did Zoro do? One dude comes behind the set to see you both chatting. He approaches us. God damn. You dis. You dis the girl. What? You dis a. You dis your girl, fam? I guess, yeah. <laughs> you fixed your posture. Nami looks behind her and faces him to speak. Um, who are you? The dude had dreads. I'm glad that's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's enough to just guess. That's all you need. Yeah. Dreads. He replies to Nami. There's only one type of person yep. that has dreads. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm a guy who wants to get to know you a bit more, and I see your fit really nice. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Nami seems a lot more engaged for some reason. Yeah. Well, thank you. You really think I look good in this? Stop. I just dressed casual. Nami smiles. The dread dude replies, I am definitely dreading this dude, yes. Well, you know your fashion. Why didn't I see you in the runway? Dude rubs his hands together in a not at all creepy fashion. Now you try to look for an object or something to help get their attention so he could stop rizzing her up. So you walk back into the booth. The two of you- what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to work my wor way around the words, the two had stopped talking since Nami had stopped the convo to look at you. So- I got- yep. <laughs> It seems like NPC behavior where like, you press tab and suddenly they both stop and just stare at you. Yeah. She asks, hey, where are you going? You you look in the booth and see a model had it collapsed while doing her makeup. What? <laughs> I guess. It's too much what? effort to put on makeup, I guess. So you just stood there in disbelief and total shock. No movement whatsoever coming from your body. The dread dude had opened his mouth. Yo, what is bro doing over there? Is he aight? You opened your mouth. G guys? 
what had come to be a surprise to you had gotten some of Nami's res respect for you. Your one word was able to get her awareness. She trotted her way to, s to me to see what had occurred. The dread guy f had followed. She screamed and then quickly ran loose to the, mo the model's body. Damn, what, <laughs> what Damn. perk she on? <laughs> Even the dread guy had jumped at the realization that another guy had been standing behind you. He was a dude with a wolf cut. He had a flickering earring on one side of his ears. The smell of his cologne had just whiffed. Now you and the dread dude had pressed him on why he'd just walked behind y'all. Now the competition is very clear that you are all shooting your shot. And y'all are just keeping it to yourselves like you hiding a gun. Bro, spitting straight rhymes, right? Like, oh my goodness, this person should be like a rap god. Like, yeah. seriously. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this book anymore. I thought this would be okay. <laughs> I I don't know. It's kind of breaking my brain in a hilarious way. Yeah. I mean, I've read bad books before, but like, my god. <laughs> Like I also like how at the very end it's just like normal paragraphs and then now the competition is very clear. Yep. Empty space. Maybe they're going for like the dramatic thing. <laughs> if you can even call this dramatic. I mean, it's in a weird twisted way it kind of works. Like just putting a blank space there so you're like What? Is that the end? Oh no, there's another What is What? Yeah. The night is in its mat mature phase. What? I didn't know knights oh. had a mature phase. And and Nami well, calls you know. for nine one one. It's you around. No, what it's a terrible you joke, but it's around eight. To... It's a terrible joke, but it's around you know eight uh, six p.m. Otherwise eighteen o'clock. Yeah. That they become mature phase. I, guess. I know, terrible joke. Anyway. <laughs> You're all just staring at each other at the corner of the booth, just figuring out what to do with each other. You s you start. Hey, my name's OBS. What are y'all? <laughs> the dread guy changes the expression to a relaxed manner. Um, I was from the fashion show with my friend. He's in the bathroom right now. Uh, my name's Don. Don's eyes looked very innocent. Oh, so Don gets to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess his, f his friend gets to go to the bathroom. We don't. <laughs> Don's eyes look very innocent under those dreads. The wolf cut guy had spoken. I took a whiz and out of curiosity I saw an open door from the booth. We wanted to greet the models that had partaken in the show. To my surprise we found one. A knocked model. You try to hold your laugh so you can keep your composure. Is there a joke there that I'm not seeing? I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> My name's Pyong, by the way. You respond. Pyong, huh? Nami had yelled at us out of pure frustration. Hey, guys, what are you just standing there? Help me! Her teeth did that thing it always does. You know, that person you just met. That thing that her teeth always do. <laughs> This is like no effort. <laughs> <laughs> we all got to work to just adjust everything. You had just cleaned up the room. Some of you just checked around for any any clues. Is she just like have a stroke? <laughs> the, the ambulance siren had gotten louder as if as it approached you. You could hear the it's level of concern. This is bad. <laughs> You hear the level of concern, people who are, were watching the show in the front. You built up the courage to go and what? announce the show's halting. You pick up the microphone and it already fail. You had dropped it as you picked it up. I guess one way to get attention is a mic screech. <laughs> it definitely... You people... 
Yeah, no, and that's how you really get attention from people. You, like, put two mics that are active right next to each other, and it makes this horrible oh. sound. Oh, yeah. You put it right in front of the speaker so that feedback is, like, A-grade. Yeah. It's a never-ending cycle of misery. We did that with phones once. Back when phones were, you know, not cell phones. Yeah. I took two phones and just, like, put the upside down with to each other. Mm. Freak the person on the other end of the phone out. That was a great way to prank someone. Yeah. Uh. Now Nami and the two just look at you. You pull your face, then you pull your face, then just continue. You open the curtains and walk in. The music was very loud. It was hard for the crowd to notice you along the models who were walking past you. So you just shout, "Hello, hello." The music continues. Hello? Hello? You're busy thinking of the two dudes trying to visit not me as you trying to get the audience's attention. <laughs> uh, the music continues. You yell. Stop the show! Stop the show! You got the DJ's attention as you stop the music. The models have stopped walking. We are here to announce the hold of the fashion show. A model had collapsed back behind the stage and needs medical attention. Ambulance siren gets closer. You finish. So I ask you to please evacuate the area to head and head over to your transportation. Because a single model was found unconscious for an unknown reason, we are going to stop this show and ask you all to go home. Yep. <laughs> you know, so any witnesses that may be in the audience, if it was a crime, could just police. not be here yeah. when the police inquire. And also when we, uh, you know, messed up the crime scene and cleaned it up for them, just so that they can get in easier. Yep. The crowd leaves the area and heads to their vehicles. Some had decided to wait outside to see what was going on. You sprinted in fear of losing Nami's interest in you as she speaks to the other dudes. You open the curtain to find the patient transport officers getting set up the stretcher to put the model on. I'm glad that they're going to use the stretcher to put the model on. I was a little worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very, very important detail. Yeah. Yeah. You see Nami holding her arms together as Byung hand his arm around her. Hell no! You decide to ask how the process is going. Nami had quickly turned to you, shaking off Byung's arm to talk to you. So she still thinks of you as her main interest. You are relieved. What happened? You ask. You managed to have the people evacuate the area. Thank you. Nami gets closer to you to further explain what had happened so far. The two had just went on staring at the model, having been picked up by the medical team. You see they are applying the... Don't chase attract move? What? Hmm. What is the don't chase attract move? I have no damn clue. I've never heard of this move before. Uh, don't chase. Okay. It won't work though, apparently. You oh, think to goodness. yourself, happily raising your chin. Another guy? God damn. When will it end? <laughs> He had the deepest voice in the room. His at Adam's apple was bulging and had a cut over his right eye. Nami seemed Nami, Nami seemingly looked to her side for a quick manner. Wait, is this fucking you know, Zoro? Since he has there. a cut over his right eye. It must be, but you know the thing that we shouldn't be concerned about is the right eye. Yeah. Look at his Adam's apple. Oh my goodness, have you seen an Adam's apple that just bulges like that? I'm kind of glad I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is probably the last chapter before my fucking brain rots. I like the fucking <laughs> meme right here. <laughs> really Let me just hang out and you're just like... I think I'm losing brain cells. Here's the problem. You don't have dreads. That's the real issue here. Yeah. <laughs> oh! 
I like how in the second line we're just like, it was Zoro. I'm you glad know, I... that guy that we met before. Yeah, I'm so glad I fucking called that. I mean, no other character I know has a fucking cut over their eye, so. I mean, that would have been helpful to know if Nami had decided to share that information, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is, is it just like we we've seen One Piece in this universe and we just like looked at Zoro and we're like, oh shit, that that's the Zoro. With the with the way the character reacted earlier to her saying her name was Nami, you'd think so, but yeah. then they do absolutely nothing about it and they think that the pinwheel is an orange and. Yeah, this is a little confusing. I don't know if I'll read this again. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of hilarious, though. I'm kind of loving it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Tommy! Oh, chaos is the best kind of humor. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and... The guy approaching... The guy approaching the curtain from the back had revealed himself. It was Zoro. Nami's attitude had changed like a lightning strike. She stomped to Zoro. Hey, Zoro! Zoro replies. Oh, Nami. Looks like I got lost here. Such a coincidence that I ran into you. Nami pulls back for a punch, giving Zoro a huge bump on his forehead. Ruined his hairline. Man. How could she do that to a guy's hairline? You just don't do that. He had a hairline? <laughs> I think he does. I think that pretty much everyone on the ship has messy hair, so it's like... You idiot! Why did you direct the ship into a tsunami, you? Now Luffy is gone with the rest of the crew somewhere else, and the ship is laying there, sitting next to an organized fashion show at the beach. Zoro expressed his pain through his leaking, screeching voice. The two boys had laughed at Zoro's directs his vision to us, shouting out loud, Oi, what's so funny? You know I could just infuse my spit with it. Wait, what? <laughs> you know I could just infuse my spit with yeah. with hockey and land it on you three and and you'd be taken to the hospital. The yeah, last stop the immediately. That they do. Yep. <laughs> they, these people don't know what hockey is. Why would they... I mean, just I just immediately know what he's insinuating. Yeah, I, I don't mean. I mean, if someone randomly threatened me, even though I wouldn't understand, I probably would stop. <laughs> Wait, and also, I would say, yeah, their their anger is justified because if someone says that he is going to infuse his spit with by hawking a loogie at you, that would be that would piss me off too. Yeah. Yeah. Their laughs stopped immediately as their heads bulged in anger. You had slowly clenched your fist. Bing Gun shouts, Hey, red guy, what did dude just say to us? <laughs> Don follows, I don't know, Wolf Cut. I think he just disrespected us. I like how they refer to each other by their hair. Yeah. Hey, dread guy, I don't know, Wolf Cut. The two walks. <laughs> the two walks slowly to Zoro as you just naturally just fit in. The three of you stand in front of Zoro, compressing your anger. The sounds of your surroundings simmer down into silence. Zoro remarks, "Huh? Conqueror's hockey has been emitted. Was this like a game wait, pop up?" Wait a minute. Two fucking people that. in One Piece to know Conqueror's Hockey, and that's Doflamingo, for some fucking reason, and Luffy. Who the fuck is using Conqueror's Hockey? I guess we'll find out soon. I guess. The objects in the room shake, and E3 just stand there. The Conqueror's Hockey continues. Weird enough. effect had only worked in the world he was from. 
and with the change of realities that had numbed out the effects of hockey in this work, in this earth. So you, Don, and Bagon just stood there as if Conqueror's Hockey wasn't there, thinking little of it. He stops, relaxing his eyebrow. He looks at us as we hold some type of nostalgia, like we reminded him of himself looking in Charlie Brown. How do we even know? <laughs> Wait, is Zoro the one Conqueror's Hockeying us? I guess. I, he doesn't know Conqueror's Hockey. What are you talking about? Don't you remember in that one episode where he definitely uses Conqueror Hockey that one time? No. I can't be bothered to look up the actual episode. Don't Just trust me. No, no, no. There's no fucking way. He, he knows normal hockey because he's infused his sword with it. I see him in Dress Rosa. There's only like two characters that know Conqueror's Hockey because it's the rarest kind of hockey. <laughs> Don't, I got the fucking lore in my brain. I know this shit. <laughs> I might need to look up. I mean, I've stuff. only seen up to like episode 600, and even I know this much. No, there's no way Zoro knows fucking Conqueror's Hockey, because it's only like. Because I think the lore is that anyone can learn like Observion Hockey and then like the, the hockey where you cover your body with it to punch and like shield shit. But only a mm -hmm. selective group of people know Conqueror's Hockey. I think Kobe knows Conqueror's Hockey for some fucking reason. I I'm gonna look it up after this, because it's gonna bother me now. Yeah, this... But also, how the fuck do we know who the fuck Sanji is? We, we don't even know him. Or Luffy. And not only that, we know him by his nickname of Twirly Brows. Yeah, I thought it was Curly Brow, but... <laughs> we, we are that familiar with him. Yeah, we must... You know, this... these people that we just met. Yep. Let me rush just to grab your arm as I <laughs> step on you. <laughs> I'll be honest, that is the first thing most people notice. Uh, yeah. Sadly. Bro, don't hurt them. They have been helping me a bunch ever since I met them. How? Five minutes ago. <laughs> you know, when you had to yell at us to get us to do anything and then her towel and uh we found a, a probably dead model and that's all we've done and then we yelled at people until they went away yeah so i say we helped her yeah yeah for sure zoro shrugs you know i like you three because why wouldn't you he then rearranges his posture to announce to nami boy nami there's some business i need to take care of I want you to tag along. You can bring these three with you. Also, the, I will say, if there's one thing that this book, if you can call it that, hmm. bugs me, it's the number of ellipses used. What's ellipses? Every single sentence. It's the three dots. Oh. Oh, says, that's Oinami, dot, dot, dot. There's some business I need to take care of, dot, hmm. dot, dot. I want you to tag along, dot, dot, dot. I guess there's supposed breaking, to be pauses. That, but that's what a comma is for. Or a period. I mean, like, I, I, like one of my fanfiction is like that, and it doesn't really bother me. I yeah, mean, I like, think it kind of adds, but I think because it's written better. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not terrible, but that's one thing that, like, I'm a, I'm kind of a grammar Nazi at heart, and so it just gets me. It's like, this should be a period. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Nami asks why she should be included. Well, there's a teen scheming one of the most dangerous plans I've ever heard. He is planning to launch a rocket to, say, act as a catalyst that he may create life there. What I had heard from this bartender is if he were to do it, he might fiddle with the Earth's titties? What? Tides, Nami corrects. This dude is launching a rocket to act as a catalyst to create life, and he heard this from a bartender. I think someone slipped something in the Zoro's drink. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, think he needs, I think he needs to lay down for a bit. Like He thinks he's channeling Emperor's Hockey or whatever, Conqueror's Hockey, and really he's just kind of going, mm. Yeah. And it may lead to some domino effect that may lead to the entire Grand Line 
possibly the world into total destruction. Not uncorrected Zoro again, but how many mistakes with directing had somehow led them to this world, and that they were no longer in their world that they have come from. Zoro had shown a bit of distress, but he recovers. Um, right. I asked for transport. You kept your mouth shut. You see Nami. You ask. Think of... You're thinking of joining him? Nami looks at you. Only if you boys are joining. Nami winked. <laughs> you like the Mercedes-Benz. I'm so glad the fucking Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> and open the door for Nami in the passenger seat. Wouldn't Nami be like... What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Wait, I I have to look this up. Cause in her world, cars don't exist. Boats do. Yeah, they're just they're just. Uh, we got a Mercedes Maybach S Class, and now it's a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. I don't know cars. Maybe that is right. But yeah, yeah. She's just like, ah, oh, yes, this weird land ship. Yeah. I would be questioning blinking it. lights. <laughs> Alright, you can go ahead and finish this off. <laughs> uh, where are we? Uh, we're at the Don and Byung? Yep. Don and Byung sat at the back. You open the driver's seat as the car sounds a repeating soft tone. You quickly head to the trunk to pull the towel you had borrowed, Nami. Why do we need a towel? You come back finding Zoro in the driver's seat. No, 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 you say. Zoro explains. Look, I know where the place is. It'd be easier. I'm... Look, excuse me, my brain just had an aneurysm. Look, I know where the place is. It'd be easier if I just take the wheel for you. You don't even you look at him drive. with distrust. <laughs> <laughs> then you agree silently, you know, because we haven't just had a ten-minute conversation about him getting lost leading him to another world. You agree silently as you sit in the back seat. Don started a convo with her as Zoro started the engine. The car spins forward. The tires screech. Now people from outside are just staring at a green dude with an orange lady on the passenger seat. With you and two diversified boys sitting at the back. Inside. A Mercedes Benz. Now Zoro reverses the car in shame, as you hide behind his chair. You are too embarrassed to look at Nami's facial expression. Did they just drive ten feet forward, go back? Some... Oh, wait, now, now Zoro's traveling again? What? I don't know. Sometimes traveling as Zoro got used to handling the car, Nami asked if Zoro could take y'all to a clothing shop first. As she talks, you can sort of feel her presence directing itself towards you, as if you both are secretly having your minds toward each other. The moon had shown its full brightness lighting up the night. You fall asleep. John falls asleep. Rigon had to continue the conversation. He started a while ago with Zoro and Nami. The road developing a single sound as the tires are running through them, beginning to fall out as you... You blur out into slumber. You get a bit of goosebumps through your level of comfort. On top of that, the darkness of the night relaxes your eyes as you then fall asleep. We just let two random people just take our car. <laughs> and then we, like, you know, in our desperate attempts to get Nami to like us through all costs, we just sit back in there and then fall asleep and let young do his thing? I guess. This was a... This is weird. I think... I think I... Yeah, my, my brain... I don't know if I can handle much more of this pick tonight. I was gonna end it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't... I was gonna... This is the last chapter. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> oh, so what'd you think? Also, <laughs> I'm, I'm now looking at the... Trying to see if the comments are great. Or it's just like... This person's just like, Zoro, GTFU, I don't know you. <laughs> it's like, yes, exactly. Yeah, why would oh. we let some random, some rando try for and, a car that we don't not know? Just, not just any car, a brand new car. There's a Mercedes Benz. 
Like, you don't just let some rando who is notorious for getting lost into your Mercedes Benz. I... <laughs> See, well... That's what I like about this story. If you think about it, it makes your brain hurt. So you just... It, it's like a meditation exercise in letting go and not latching on to things that make sense or are logical. I feel like this person only seen clips of One Piece and never, like, watched it. Yeah, like, the, <laughs> like they're just scrolling through TikTok or mm -hmm. Facebook Reels or whatever, and they're just like, yeah, I think I get the gist. Or, like, they see the advertisements when a new episode comes out, and they're like, yeah. oh, dang, he got the Conqueror hockey now. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna look at it. Who the fuck has Conqueror's hockey? I feel like it's only two. I think you're right. I think it should be like three people. Okay, from sources. I don't know how At least true as this far is. As I know. It's uh, uh, Rayleigh, Kaido, uh, Whitebeard, uh, Boa Hancock. I don't know who this person is. Charlotte Adakree? I don't think I met this dude yet. I think he's in Whole Cake Island. Yep, Doflamingo. I fucking knew that. Xing Zhao. Apparently, Ace knew a Conqueror's Hockey. Kid apparently does, yeah. and I know Luffy does for sure because there was a whole scene of him activating it for the first time. Yeah. Apparently, Monkey D. Garb, Luffy. Oh shit, they were right. Apparently, Zoro does know Conqueror's Hockey. Wait, he does? I didn't think he did. I... Where does that show up? I'm, I'm looking well, at the again, article. I'm... I am, There's then again, no I am ways. way far back. Like, I'm still in Fishman Island, so... Oh, God. Honestly, like, half of the names you just said are spoilers. Sorry. Well, I don't know who, like... But, you don't know what they look like. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shanks, that was but, obvious. Okay. Shanks. I know. Yeah, because wasn't he the one who taught Nami? Or taught Luffy? Shanks, no. Like, he, when he saved... Luffy from that sea monster. He looked at the sea monster and the sea monster went away. That was Conqueror's Hockey, apparently. Oh, I wanna... Which one is Shanks? I know that one. Red Hair Shanks? Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah. Oh, no, I... I had a different person in mind. But yeah, Shanks definitely knows it. Let me White beard, for see. sure. Okay, I found the Zoro one. It was very powerful. He possesses, he possesses all three types of hockey. He's able to use Conqueror's hockey unknowingly against Kaido. <laughs> oh, I'm so, that does sound like a Zoro thing to do. Just randomly, unknowingly use the most powerful thing in existence. Yep. Alright, now I know when he uses it. <laughs> when I get to Wano. Well, oh, I mean, spoil the shit of we, myself. <laughs> this is great, yeah. honestly. Man, yeah, apparently a lot of characters get their are confirmed to get Conqueror's hockey when they, when they go to Wano. So, all right. Yeah, I thought it was just like five at most. Yeah, I I, I know it's rare. Only a select few, because anyone can learn the other two, but you have to like be special, apparently. To get yeah. the uh, the other ones, but anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> uh, if you guys would like to I, read I this feel book, like... uh, I'll have it linked down below in the description for you to read if you want to torture yourself, I guess. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Please do join us in insanity. It's fun here. Yeah. There's cookies. There's other Wattpad books. And the Waka videos, sorry, that are way better than this. Uh, be sure to check that out. Also, I, <laughs> thank you for joining me on this, even though you're a new guest. <laughs> it was uh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> it is a blast. Yep. And I'll have Sparky's thing uh, channel linked down below in the description for you to check out as well. And check out their content. I don't think it's similar at all to what I do, but if you're looking for something different... <laughs> yeah, lots of gameplay stuff. And I'm, at some point in the future, there'll be a wide variety of content. Most likely, stuff like this as well. Yeah. But for now, it's just gameplay content. Yep. While I get on my feet. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Sparky, and we'll see you guys next time! Bye! Woo. Bye!